Today I come to you as an artist, a performer, a writer, and a motivational speaker. And I come to address a very important topic that seems to have plagued the very society in which we live. A society that has become more tolerant of violence, self-hate, and depression. Where we have begun to overlook the disastrous effect of domestic violence and abuse. So today I come to you, utilizing my talents and my abilities to bring to life and to paint a more vivid picture of this horrible, horrible thing, whether it be mental, physical, or emotional abuse, it should not be tolerated. He tells me all the time that he hates me. He tells me he hates me. He says that he's embarrassed of me even embarrassed to be seen with me. He even says he wishes that he's never married me. Tells me I'm ugly. Tells me that no man would ever want me. He's even told me that he wished that I would just die. But you know what? feelings mutual <laughs> because I just wish that I would just die too <laughs> he came home angry again today just said he had a bad day at work He was just so upset and so furious that I didn't have his dinner waiting when he got home. And I knew it was my fault. I knew I shouldn't have taken so long to clean the house. So when he got home, I tried to explain to him and I apologized. I told him it wouldn't happen again. But he wouldn't calm down. He was just so furious. And so all I could do was to turn. To turn away and try to get away from him. But he pulled my hair. And he pulled me back so hard that I fell to the ground. And he just started hitting me over and over again. All I remembered was just hearing my kids crying in the background, screaming and yelling and begging for their daddy to stop. enough that I have to go through this <laughs> but I couldn't even protect my children from it what kind of a mom am I <laughs> I'm just so ashamed and I hate myself <laughs> I have been a victim to the fist of brutality, made to run from my dreams and to awaken to a nightmare that has now become my reality. The excruciating pain, the hurt, and the sorrow stretches out from my past, reaching into my present and promising to linger still into my tomorrow. 
and I have suffered and I have cried and I wonder why I haven't been laid to rest because many times I have died even a thousand deaths screaming for mercy with every breath yet i endure the disease of hatred that has no cure without intervention without means of protection the crime goes unpunished undetected and never even mentioned and although I scream just as loud as I can and I yearn to escape every now and again, I'm trapped. Yet I can still hope that somehow, some way, that someone, someday, will perhaps extend a helping hand. Anyone that is involved in an abusive relationship, I ask you to not be ashamed and to know that it is not your fault. I ask you to seek help because there are many programs and many people that have gone through the same situations as you have and they have conquered and they have gotten over their circumstance. Whether you get counseling to better your relationship or you choose to remove yourself altogether from the situation, it is critical that there be some sort of change. I ask you today to begin to love yourself wholeheartedly and completely, and to know that you are worthy and that you deserve so much more. I ask you to remove any negative thing that anyone has ever told you, and to look within that mirror of truth so that you can see your true reflection and see who you truly are, beautiful and magnificent. I ask you to have faith and to know that it is because of this situation that you will become stronger, that you will become empowered to do great and mighty things. But you must first make that choice. Decide to get help and decide to make that change today. <laughs>